All right, I guess you can say the wait is on for us here in southeastern New Mexico, and of course, we're waiting for the arrival of some thunderstorms. Now, there's no guarantee that the thunderstorms are going to make it down into places like Roswell and Hobbs and Carlsbad again tonight. We don't have quite the same dynamic setup that we had yesterday, at least as far as the southeastern part of the state is concerned. But you can see there is a tendency to kind of line up some storms here from the Gila back through parts of the middle Rio Grande Valley and then really cranking things off as you get here to parts of the east central and northeast plains of New Mexico here. And if you look at the movement of the showers and storms, they are showing that continued trend of sliding on down towards the south and east. The question we have really is whether or not they're going to hold together by the time they get here. We certainly got some moisture in place. Right now, though, it appears that the severe weather threat's just a little bit up to the north. You'll notice shaded in yellow here is our severe thunderstorm watch. Now, this is until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, similar to what we saw yesterday, the, the watch is actually displaced a little further to the north. Roswell is not in the watch area right now. And remember, severe thunderstorm watch means that severe storms are possible. And that uh, characteristics that go with those storms are 60 mile per hour plus winds and some rather large hail. Actually, I think the criteria for winds is a little less than this, but this is kind of what we're expecting in this particular area. But we always say that not only in, but close to the watch area, you could see this kind of activity. We're certainly close. We're certainly going to keep an eye on things. So here's your setup. We've got that moist flow continuing to kind of slide in from the east, juicing up the atmosphere. That mixes with the heat and makes for a rather miserable afternoon in that department. Notice what I'm showing here, little disturbance in the upper atmosphere, kind of working around the outer periphery of the high pressure system, which is low, uh, more or less uh, anchored in over to the uh, parts of the four corners there. That is what's helping to enhance a lot of these thunderstorms, and it's possible. Now, the computer bottle gets a little muddy on this, but it's possible that that could come on in here uh, towards sunset or a little thereafter. So I'm still not sold on us staying storm-free. As a matter of fact, I'm putting some scattered storms in our forecast. Probably not going to reach severe limits. That's good news. But another lightning show after sunset, well within the realm of possibility. 69, my forecast low tonight in Roswell. 99 for tomorrow. The heat just keeps coming, doesn't it? And we are still sizzling out there right now. 97 degrees in Roswell and Carlsbad. 93 in Hobbs and Clovis and Portales. Probably wondering why it's a little cooler to the east. Well, to the east, there's just a little bit more moisture. Dew points here in the mid 50s, dew points right at 50 in Roswell. But anywhere I've color coded the map green, that means there's ample moisture. So as those storms continue to work out of northern parts of New Mexico, where actually the surface moisture content is less than it is down this way. They could well feed on that moisture as they come in, and that could spark off some of those early evening thunderstorms like we've seen the last couple of days. I think those afternoon thunderstorms may even pop up again tomorrow, and for that matter, even on Tuesday. Uh, and Wednesday. <laughs> you see, we've got another cool front that's set to slide in, but we are going to be hot out there tomorrow, 99, 98 on Tuesday, and only slightly cooler through the middle part of the week.